Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey, and today I'm going to be touring the island of Driftwood by Eden Akita. This island is based on the southwestern county of Cornwall in England where she grew up. I can't wait to show it to you. I read the description. It looks absolutely amazing. I'm going to put the description down in the description below so that you can see what this town's all about and what you can expect should you visit the dream address yourself. So first off, the flag is the Cornish flag. Very cute. I love it. Uh, there's a rock wall, which apparently is a rock wall that exists in uh, Cornwall. So there you go. I think the wall part in Cornwall maybe might be descriptive of the wall. I don't know. I really have no idea. I'm just making stuff up. So over here we have a place where, you know, tourists come to look out through the wall and where we're protecting the area. Yeah. I'm going to move right along over here. We have this beautiful little pier with all of the boats. I love the way the boats look nestled against the cliff right here. This looks so realistic and so natural. That's a really good way to do boats. And then the little parking on the beach over there. I love that. Oh, and more areas. Oh, so maybe they do have like areas where they have um, like his historical landmarks where they have uh, places where you they have cannons and other artillery left over from their military and fighting and stuff. I know we had that over in California. We had bunkers and stuff that were left over from World War II. So maybe that's a thing. I have no idea. I should go look that up though. I'm probably going to go look that up after I finish recording this. So over here, we have a beach and the lighthouse over on the peninsula. I love the lighthouse on the peninsula. That's like one of my favorite ways to put the lighthouse. It just seems so appropriate, right? And that fossil over there nestled behind the weeds is fantastic. The beach is actually decorated like a beach, which is wild nowadays, right? Crazy. We put some boats over on the beach in case you want to go and do some water sports, which is really cool. I'm going to come back over here and Billy is going to move out of my way. We have a villager house right here, which is really cute with a little seating area right next to it. And down here, it looks like there's stuff going on. I can't quite get to it just yet. I'm pretty sure there's a way. Oh, here we go. There is a way where there's a will. I love this sand path. The sand path is really nice. So we have a little shower and a little washing area because in case you want to go like playing in the beach which is really cute. And I just love the idea that the beach is actually a beach. Like you never see that anymore. And then there's a little fish shack over here, which is really cute. They've got a little chowder and grilled fish. We've got a gyroid working it over here, the little muscle dude. He's very cute. The lifeguard station. I love this. This is so cool. Okay, so I'm going to just continue back this way. It seems like the most natural way to go. And back here, we just have a regular standard beach decor. But if we go up here, we find the campsite. And the campsite's really nice. So it's just very simply decorated, but it is beautiful. And then we have a little area to like lay down and rest over here. I love the festival flag. That's really cool. And then we have a villager's house next to the campsite. That's wildly appropriate. Also, you guys will notice that it is not completely cluttered up with stuff. So not everyone is a cl clutter core queen. We have some beautiful landscaping back here and everything is just really pretty. That's all I can say about this island is that everything is really pretty. So if you come here behind Nook's Cranny, there's this fantastic view. Wow. That's really cool on a road in the back. 
there's a little city street back here and it overlooks the nature over there. I'll go down the hiking trail in just a moment. We've got our standard construction zones over here on the street. I love those. And then we have a villager home. I love a good wheat field and the gyroid is playing in the wheat field, which is inspired. He's awesome. We even have a well back here and a garden. I love having the idea of having a garden in the backyard is perfect. I don't know why I've never thought of anything like that, but it is a really cool idea. Okay, so if we go back to this point where we went down, if we come this way instead, we're going to find a little shopping district over here. Super cute. So all of the villagers homes are set up as storefronts, which I love. I don't know if the interiors are decorated uh, for the villagers to like go with whatever stores are in front of their house. There's like a little wetsuits shop here. That's adorable. And then there is a little playground and it's super cute and I do love the fake dirt in here much better than a real dirt it looks so good in front of the playground I love the way the port and the ship and this whole vibe is right here like you can tell there's a port down there and then there's a little boat right here like you can tell that there's a lot going on over there but you can't see all of it just enough you know what I mean and these rock walls are really cool Okay, so we have this area right here, and I want to go down because that is where the Nooks and the Abel sisters are. It looks really, really nice. So there's this whole pier going along this side over here, and we have a little fishing dock right there. And the museum is an aquarium. It looks fantastic. I love it. And then if we continue along this way past Luna, we're gonna see where that boat was parked right there. And I love the little boat shed. That looks so cool. And there's a little seating area over here. I love that we have our little wheelchair over on the side. And if we come along down here, these were those boats that you could see from up top. Really cool. So continuing along this way, we have a diagonal neighborhood and this is the way to do it, you guys. It looks so good. It, it looks just like a little like city, like a small town, just really nice the way it's set up. It's beautiful. We've got balloons and at first I just saw the red balloon and I was terrified. But we have a little soccer field down here, and I love that. I love the patches of dirt, but then didn't go crazy with the dirt, which I, I love and I think is very realistic. Everything here is very realistic and wide open and really pretty. So I'm going to come down this incline towards the front and see what's over here. We have a little bike rental, which I love on an island like this. I also love this blanket right here, or this code, this curtain code. It looks so good. We have a little pier along the front where there is a fish market. And the sand on this island is so good. The sand code is really good. I must take notes. And then we have a little ice cream parlor right there, which is so cool. And then the beach, of course, is decorated as a beach. Wild, I know. So crazy. And I love that everything beside the beach is things that you would find next to the beach. Look at our friend, Surf's Up. I love it. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. What do we have over here? Oh, we have a little play area. This looks like something that would be my area on the beach because I have a lot of kids. I love this. It's just, it's just a beach. It's so nice. We have a little wildlife preserve back there. Gotta protect the butterflies. I respect that. A 
Okay, you guys, this entire time I have had presents in my pocket and I didn't open them. All right, here we go. We are all dressed now. Let's go up the cliff and see what's going on over here. This all looks so pretty and I do love that the dirt path is straight, which you very rarely ever see a straight dirt path. But this looks really nice. And it does look very natural. I do like that. Back here, you can tell there's like little bikes over here. I love the fence. The vertical board fence is really nice. And then we have our little sad flower right there. So we have a little hiking trail back here. It's inspired. It's beautiful. Look at that with the little picnic area. They're having a little romantic date over there. Super cute. Perfect for Valentine's Day, right? And then this was the area behind Nook's Cranny and I love this view. It is so good. I don't know what I'm gonna use for a thumbnail for this video, but almost everything was absolutely stunning. So. I am so happy that I had the opportunity to tour this island. Right next to the Nook's Cranny is the resident house. I'm going to go inside. I'm not sure if I should be avoiding the basement here, but look at how cute it is set up as a b, &B. I do love the way this looks. It's beautiful. We're going to go straight back first. I never go this way first. So cute, we have a little laundry room and the gyroids are hard at work here. I love that. Oh my gosh. Here we have the little room. Oh my gosh, there's a baby crib and the little quilt on it is super cute. Oh my goodness. And then we have the children's bed and the parents sleeping arrangement. We have a tub. This is a beautiful room. I could totally stay here. I love all the blues. We have another room over here. It looks like also a family room and it's done a little bit more white. And I love that the cute wall was used because I feel like it's a little bit underrated. It doesn't get used very often or shown a lot of love, but this white variation of it is really pretty. Okay, it doesn't look like anything shady is going on here. It looks like a nice, a sweet spa. There's a little gyroid enjoying a hot tub after a long day of work. Mr. Fishy here is just hanging out on the reception desk. Okay, it's all good. It's so cute. Me and basements have a thing going on, you guys. Upstairs, we have this beautiful viewing room. So pretty. I love it. It's like a studio apartment. Maybe like they rent out most of the house and then this is where the resident lives. And Jeremiah's photo here. Bless me with your presence, O King. Oh my gosh. I've been on the never ending hunt for Jeremiah, you guys. And he is being incredibly elusive. Okay, so I think that's it for this island tour, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. This island was actually a real treat. I loved seeing how realistic everything was maintained on this island. It's so beautiful. And although I don't know the history of Cornwall, I am now going to go look up the history of Cornwall thanks to this island. So always a learning experience here at Sweet as Honey. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I know you could be absolutely anywhere in the entire world and you choose to hang out with me and I'm so honored that you're here and I appreciate you so much for that. Um, I hope everyone has a beautiful and fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.